It's a desk chair. It's on the floor, but it's actually a desk lamp. It's a petite woman's shoe. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Red hairs. It looks like a shred of clothing fabric. You don't need it. Leave it here for the police. The subject of this sculpture looks curiously familiar. There is plaster dust all over Yvette's bare, pale skin. It appears to be a pair of bifocal glasses. There appears to be a fingerprint on one of the lenses of the bifocals, although you have no way to identify it. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Definitely red hairs. Probably human. You pick it up and place it in your purse. A smelly old work boot. You pick it up and place it in your purse. The blood is red and almost dry. There seems to have been a struggle here. Countess, why are you tied up on my desk? Your face has certainly changed to an attractive pale color, my dear. You seem a little under the weather. Are you okay? <coughs> oh dear, you don't look well at all. Riley! You want Mr. O'Reilly? Okay, just wait right here and I'll go get him.
Hello, Miss Bo. Do you know where Mr. O'Reilly is? Well, no, not exactly. I assume he's still in the museum. Well, I'll find him. If you see him first, would you tell him that the Countess is dying on the desk in my office? The Countess is dying? What's wrong with her? Well, she's looking rather pale. Her eyes are glazed, and she's not breathing much. I'd guess she'd been bitten by a snake. By a snake? Must you keep repeating everything I say? In any case, I've got to go now. A bottle of Dr. Moribund's guaranteed snake oil. It's one quarter full. A little bunch of grapes. Chilled, you remember something about grapes being found alongside the victims of Jack the Ripper. You pick it up and place it in your purse. The Countess is looking rather pale. She seems surprised that she died here on Olympia's desk. It's the bound and dead body of the Countess Lavinia Waldorf Carlton. It's a dead woman's ankle. You detect a trickle of what could prove to be cobra venom. You deem it wise not to touch it when you remember that it's a neurotoxin that causes progressive paralysis leading to respiratory failure. That biology class was useful after all. The scent of the smelling salts is overpowering at this close range. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Thank you. 